Some unfortunate news out of Oklahoma involving three storm chasers. The upcoming Maserati Grand Sport, we got some more details about it. Toyota continues to tease their redesigned Corolla with some pics and this dude Jack. A Tesla Model S is taken to its speed limit the first time. Come on. Smooth. Smooth, Smooth right? Plus, someone is doing it wrong. Today on FLD. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fastlane Daily, and that's what you're watching indeed. Things have really sucked lately in Oklahoma with all these storms and deadly tornadoes that hit several towns hard, and things only got worse this past Friday when another tornado killed an initially reported nine people in El Reno, Oklahoma. Now we're finding out that three others were killed. However, they weren't the type to hide from such danger. Three brave members of the Twistix storm chasing team. The three men, Tim Samaras, his son Paul Samaras, and Carl Young were following a powerful tornado that made a sudden turn and hit their cars, which are heavily modified to withstand strong tornadoes. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, but we very much appreciate what these guys do because they track tornadoes and probably saved many lives by getting out important information about those storms. So our thoughts and prayers go out to all those affected. Hat tip to Jalopnik for getting that story out there. Now, there's really no way to transition from a story like this to another one in a good way, so I'm just going to do it. Right. Just go on, right? Tesla has been in the news a lot lately, and we know the Tesla Model S is a quick car. I mean, it can beat a new BMW M5 in a quarter mile drag race, thanks to all that instant torque of an electric engine. However, how does it fare in terms of all out top speed? Well, Tesla claims 130 mile per hour top speed. Okay, yeah, not especially fast by today's standards, but pretty darn quick for an electric vehicle. Am I right, Tom? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, until now, there hasn't been any proof the Model S could actually hit that speed. But one owner decided to put the question to rest and asked the car to give it everything she's got, Captain. And everything it's got was 133 miles per hour. Yep. For you math wizards, that's three miles per hour more than Tesla said it could do. It also gets there pretty quickly, hitting 100 in 12 seconds and topping out at 133 in 28 seconds total. Okay, Tesla, go on with your bad electric self. I see you. All right? Right, Max? Buck 33. Yeah. It's weird when you listen to the video, like... You, well, you want to hear an engine, but it's just electricity. Toyota is getting pretty excited about their next generation Corolla, and they want to pass along that joy to you. And they are going to do so with Jack Hollis here, the... Yeah, Vice President of Marketing at Toyota. That's right, but more importantly, he's the... I'm the team captain around marketing. It just means I get to have a lot of fun and everything we're doing around new cars. That's right, team captain, huh? Very exciting there, Jack. Yeah, so they figured the best way to go about it was release this video of Jack at his desk without even being mic'd up. You know what? I, I hate to be picky, but this video is just hard to watch. Max, can you, can you maybe do something about this or? How about this? Ah, so much better. What is that, a 10 gallon cowboy hat? It is. Is that an arrow I see through there? Yeah. Awesome job. Anyway, I can't say we are as stoked as Jack here, but that hat, you look pretty damn awesome. But here are a couple teasers of the 2014 Corolla showing a new grill. Got an odd angle of the right tail light showing an S badge, cool. Got a headlight here, alloy wheels, infotainment screen, and new front logo housing. Beyond the styling, the new model should use a 1.8 liter four banger that will hang out with a six speed manual. Of course, the CVT auto setup will be an option as well. Real quick, Jack, what did you want me to do? We want you to go places with us. You're going yeah. to want Yeah, Jack, you keep saying that, but what places? Like, do we get pizza? Do you want to go to the Wild West because you're wearing that really cool hat? Do you want me to go help you move? your son out of his apartment? I don't know what, he, what places he's talking about. Yeah, he needs to be more specific. Way more specific. Corolla doesn't look bad though. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, well, from the shots we see anyway. Maserati Baus. Baus. Harald Wester, I think it's Harald. I think that's the way you pronounce it. Harald, Harald, Harald. I got you, Wester. Don't worry about it. Has revealed some further details on the brand's smaller sports car, the Grand Sport. He suggested the Grand Sport will slot below the Grand Turismo, which should become more luxurious, while the Grand Cabrio will be based on the new Grand Sport. Do you guys follow? I know there's a lot of Grands in there. Yeah. Okay, good. The platform comes from the new Ghibli and will be lightened up quite a bit for the smaller sports car model. Power should come from a 3.0 turbo V6 from the Ghibli, making 410. <laughs> those connected to a DCT transmission, the Triple Grand, I like to call it. 
The new Grand Sport, Grand Cabrio, and Grand Turismo should debut in 2016. And I don't want to say Grand anything until then. Got it. All right. Now to someone who's doing it wrong, Max. All right. Okay, yeah. This Infiniti is just trying to make a left, and this Volvo SUV is just trying to cross the intersection. Both are driving correctly. They have the green light. But Mr. Honda Civic wants no part of driving legally. Yeah. Hits the Volvo, then they both hit the Infiniti. Luckily, the Infiniti had this cool trunk open and balloons fly out accident feature that tells the Honda driver how they just won multiple tickets and skyrocketed insurance payments. Yes. Woo. You win, Honda Civic. Hey, Honda Civic driver, you see that thing with three lights on it that hangs above the street? Well, when the top one is red, that means stop. Driving in general. What are they doing, Max? They're doing it wrong. Exactly. That is just ridiculous. But it's so cool how the trunk popped open and balloons fly out. Yeah. It's like, you won. Surprise. You won accidents. That's, uh, that's why it's a good video. Yeah. Can you see the sweat on my forehead? Uh, awesome. Let's get out of here. That's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. But before we go, just want to announce our new official Fast Lane Daily site is up www.fastlanedaily.com. Of course, you can still watch us on YouTube, youtube.com slash fastlanedaily as well. We'll be updating that constantly with blogs, pictures of us, our bios, etc. will be coming out soon, so go check it out if you'd like. And while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, keep on subscribing on that tubes of you. We appreciate it. iTunes, you can watch there. Instagram, t-shirts, FLD app, and we are on Vine. Why is the AC so not working well in here today? I'm asking you, you should know. Oh, I don't know. It's a script meeting on the set of Fastlane now. No, that would be so ingrained in me that I can change it to every shirt at any moment's notice. Derek D, it's go time. What does that mean? It's time to shoot FLD. Yeah. Okay, you got my back? <laughs> Taken to its speed limit the first time. How about that? Yeah. Right? 30 grand. Yeah. Nope. That's the, that's the, that's, I changed the words. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.